Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of January 17th through January 24th of 2021 for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then usually again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. You could check a different part of your chart. You could even watch an older reading if the title speaks to you on some level. The readings truly are timeless. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. That'll help you know when new readings are posted or when announcements are made on the channel. So let's begin and get the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What advice do you have for Cancer, please? All right, what does Cancer need to know? All right. So we'll do our tarot reading here, then we will do the Angel Answers Oracle cards too. You begin here with the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Empress the Two of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. So you got a change coming. And I feel like for those of you that are, you're on some kind of health, fitness, crusade, new year, new you kind of thing, you may have some temptations to deal with, but I think you're going to stick to your guns. And really the tarot offers you advice on how to navigate, okay? So we use our free will. So you can see little pitfalls here, and it doesn't mean you're going to have to fall in one, but I do see that where there's some temptation looming here. So you've got three major arcana here, so we'll just show these a minute. And um, there's, a, there's a really a beautiful energy field here with the three of these together. New opportunities, new growth, and actually I think we were this way, weren't we? Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. Um, with this, you have here fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. You got all the elements. You got all the elements. You've got earth here too, Taurus here too. And so with the seven of wands, I feel like you're keeping your commitments. You are moving forward with things. This is also a, a card of alignment. So having good timing, calling the right people, you know, you got a problem and maybe something breaks, you need a plumber. You call the best person. They're efficient. They're cost effective. You go, there's my new plumber, that kind of stuff. Even if it's on the most mundane level, it doesn't matter because it's more of a bridge of incidents that tells you, hey, you're in alignment. You're attracting good things in your life, no matter how small, because all those small things are holograms of the bigger. So you find a penny on the street, that's a penny from heaven. We say that's a hologram of the bigger money that you want. But you're pushing forward in terms of a relationship too. Um, there's definitely a connection here. There may be some obstacles though, whether it's... Uh, you know, kind of ego related, like there's a big age difference and there's sort of this concern about what other people think, or it's a distance issue or a schedule. I get schedule issue too um, with this. You've got the Ace of Swords. This is a new goal. It's all about making gains and it's like a laser focus, all right? I've gotten a few people getting the devil in theirs, a few readings. And that's like, to me, in a, in a couple of them, it was definitely like you've fallen off the wagon with your health and nutrition. This is not. This is like still buying organic, still, you know, making whole foods a priority and seeing gains, all right? It's like you're on the right track. You're not wavering at all. This is very decisive energy. And so you are making a decision. Some of you, it's something where you're really using that logical side of things um, and I, I want to be careful of that because it doesn't necessarily mean it's ego driven, but it's like you've got your mind clear, you're using meditation, you're getting into that higher realm, connected to your higher self, taking the intuitive hits and making them into instinctive guidance or um, not guidance, um, <clears throat> actions, inspired actions is what I meant to say. So with this, it For some of you, too, if you've got a new start at work somewhere, too, I feel like you're doing great. You're off to a great start. It's like you're on time, you're early, 
you're being well received and it really is too a time for you in a lot of aspects of your life to kind of get organized, declutter, get things down into almost a minimalist phase, but it's not like it's Spartan. It's like it just feels everything's really clean and good and fresh and moving forward so that you can expand. I mean, you can't expand when there's nowhere to grow, right? So I do like to see the King of Cups here. Not only is it you and your element, but it's like you having an emotional, it feels really good at being in a really good place emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all the way around in this reading. In terms of love, there's definitely a relationship here that's very transparent. It's got You've got the ability to tell each other you love each other, to look at ways that you can lift up the other person, lift up their vibration. If they're having a bad day, you know, there's, it's not, Hey, get the hell away from me. I can tell you're down and I don't want you to ruin my, my vibes. So it's not like that. It's really having a spirit of communion, I guess that comes in sort of this camaraderie in this really nice ebb and flow in a relationship. If it's a new relationship, it's definitely headed towards a commitment here. Um, and with the Empress here too, again, there's growth all around you, prosperity, new beginnings, but abundance. She's also a card of opulence, all right? So for some of you, like I said, you may have temptations. Maybe you've got a an office that does birthday treats kind of things and they're bringing in food all the time and or things are starting to return, especially in, if you're in a a business where people start to donate food or try to get sales by bringing in food. I do feel like there's a little bit of a, a warning about that, that there may be temptation. So make sure you're carrying whatever you need if that's you and you're in this new nutrition cycle so that you don't have to resort to something you'll just feel bad about later. But overall, the Empress is the mother of the tarot, okay? She's a female creator of the material world. And it's all about um, you having wonderfully creative ideas and being inspired and bringing that into any situation you're in, you are vibrant in this energy and people around you feel it. They feel it coming. And it's like, I feel like for somebody here, somebody says to you, when I see you, I just smile. You just make me smile, you know, and it's that kind of energy where people feel that they feel good being around you. And so what you attract is just more of it. So you've got a lightheartedness with this two of pentacles and it may be a bit of a busyness where you're balancing a lot of stuff. Um, it can take you a little bit off kilter emotionally. So be aware of that so that you don't allow yourself to swing out of regulation where you don't feel good or when you start to notice it, that's your time to adjust your thoughts, reach for better feeling thoughts quiet your mind for a minute, allow yourself to do nothing, allow yourself to do something that's fun for you. So that way you're better in balance with this because you may with all this vibrant energy, find that people start wanting to meet, hey, let's go get coffee, let's take a walk, let's do this. And you don't want to say no to people. But if you do too much of it, you're going to be like this where it's, it's fun, but to a point it's becomes can become a tipping point. Um, some of you too, there may be a decision here and, um, you know, honestly, I feel like it's almost a continuation of a decision. We're going to talk about it in a minute with the wheel of fortune, things are moving forward for you. All right. And I feel like this is related to the two of pentacles and this five of pentacles that we're going to get to in a minute. If you made a decision to leave a job or something like that a while ago, I do still feel like there's sort of a little bit of a pang of um, adjustment. That's what it is with that two of pentacles. It's still like this adjustment thing going on here. Um, but with the wheel of fortune, things are moving in your favor. So again, like I, I think I said earlier, you've got great timing. You connect with the right, all the right people. And it seems like things are just magically aligning below you. Like the ro road is just unfolding as each step you take and it's all in the right direction. You can't catch a struggle here. Very high vibrational energy. So for some of you, if it's new love, it may feel like a chance encounter, but it may also feel like you've known this person forever. So it's, it could be, like I said, new, but with a feeling of 
nostalgia almost with it. Like you've got a lot in common. Things are, um, seem so familiar with this. But now with this Five of Pentacles, I mentioned you may have left a situation like a job. I, I don't feel like you were necessarily out in the cold, but it may have felt like things were changing in a way that you didn't like. And there may be a little bit of a, like I said, an adjustment period. So this is a card too, where you have not lost everything. You've still got loyal people around you, but it's just like that, that phase of getting used to something that can feel a little bit um, questionable. Like, did I, did I do the right thing? What did I do it in the way that was the best for everyone concerned here too? Um, so with this, I oftentimes, because it is a change, you know, I think of the phrase knock and the door will open when I look at that stained glass window above them. So know that you can, you can have do or be anything. Ask and it is given, they say. Ask and it is given. So there's nothing to fear with that, but you do have two fives right next to each other. And for some of you, there may actually be an, a real religious meaning to this because you have a church right next to a wedding efficient. So I don't know if somebody too is planning a wedding and you don't want it to be in a church. I know that's really random and it might be for one person here. Like you're going, I want a destination wedding. I, I don't, I want to walk away from these plans. I want to walk away from this bigger institution. I just don't want to participate in it. Hey, that's cool. I'll do it anyway. That's up to you. But with the Hierophant, he does tell you be still and know. And so if you're worried about that, or you're worried about leaving a situation, he comes in to tell you that it is okay and that you're on the right path. You're being divinely guided. You know, he keeps the keys to the kingdom at his feet, right? And he's he's leading people. He's an uplifter, a teacher, a healer, and a priest. And so for some of you, this this is really about a union moving forward in a relationship. But it's also about connecting with your higher self, allowing yourself to be led by your very best teacher, your inner teacher, and so as you do that, your life will seem to change in amazing and miraculous ways, but it's really the universal law taking form. So I definitely feel like there's a commitment here in a relationship, but if you've changed jobs, there's a wonderful commitment here too. So allow it to be so. The Hierophant comes in to tell you, you know, it's sort of like that spiritual teacher that tells you it's all okay. That, you know, the ego is what tells us things aren't right. Our soul doesn't have an opinion on that. Our soul doesn't look at things in negative terms the way that the ego does. So let's see what the angels have to say here for cancer, please. And a timeline here for cancer. And a yes, no, maybe. So you have here, communicate clearly. So the universe is your mirror and very impersonal. It answers you no matter what. So be very clear about what you want. Compromise. So for some of you, there may be something to do with these two fives, the change in this. It doesn't mean that you give up what you want. Really, the best deals are when each party leaves a little bit on the table, as we say. Forgiveness. So if there's something here with this five of pentacles, that has more meaning to you, it's time to forgive as you move forward. And that's the release that allow you to move forward. Your timeline, I keep getting this weight. And I do feel like in these readings, it really is more about wait because um, wait and see, wait and see what's happening. Like, I feel like there's good things coming and they're just telling you, you know, it doesn't mean don't do anything because then you have don't stop. And I said that even before I looked at it, it's not telling you not to act. It's just almost telling you like, like you're going to be blown away. Let's see what happens here because you've got things moving forward. So I love you, Cancer, and I'll be back again soon.